Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhighfrontimation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how you can perform drag and drop operation in Selenium with Python. In our previous videos, we have seen how action chains work, right? And using action chains, we have already discussed how to perform mouse over. Today, we are going to use the same class for drag and drop, and we will be using the same class in upcoming videos where we will see how we can perform keyboard events, double click, right click, and so on. Okay. So I will be using a uh, different applications to show you the scenarios that we are planning to automate. So as you can see, I have different applications. Concept will remain same. Okay. So I will show you with one application and the remaining you can give a try from your end because that is what you need to perform in real time as well. Okay. So don't worry. You just need to follow the same approach. Only the locators will change. And one more thing that you need to uh, remember that you might find certain iframes. Okay, in this kind of application. So make sure you just check first, do you have iframe or not? So the first example that I'm taking from dhtmlgoodies.com, it's one of the sites where I found this. So as you can see, now I can do the drag and drop from left to right, okay? So suppose if I want to drag Washington to US, I can do that, right? In the same way, Rome to Italy. So it's very easy when it comes to um, UI part. But when you do with Selenium, we just need to identify the locators of, I will say, source and target, and we will simply call one method. Another example, which is very interesting, which is from telric.com. As you can see, I have some options on the left hand side, some option on the right hand side. If I have to drag and drop, I can do that easily. I just need to select and drag and drop. Okay. And one more example is, this is very easy one. You just select or you know drop to a specific place and you will see one text called dropped so i will be showing you this example because these two are pretty easy i will show you this one but yeah source and destination and just call the method so concept is same so i will give you all this link in the description please give it a try from your end so let's get started so guys uh, till now we were using light theme so from today onwards we will be using dark theme okay so that we can see some changes and drag theme looks pretty decent as well so if you are following my previous videos then you must be aware that we have created a package and now we have all these python files right so now let me create a new python file and let's understand how this drag and drop works so i will just give this file name is drag and drop demo okay so let me use web driver so i will just type web driver control space twice and you can see I'm getting suggestions. I will take this one, which is web driver. Then I will be using dot Chrome. Chrome is a separate class. Now I will be using web driver manager that we discussed already, which will automatically take care of my browser. So this thing we have already discussed multiple times. So I will be using now service because if you following my latest videos, then it gives one warning, right? That you have to use service class. So we are going to use the same. So we will be using service and this service will come from Chrome and here we will pass Chrome driver manager. So Chrome driver manager. Okay. And we will be using dot install. So I will give you all this videos link with that we have discussed earlier. So you don't, so you will not find any issue. So this all things that we are writing, we have already discussed in our previous videos. So this particular um, okay, statement will create a web driver. So basically I will be storing in a driver variable. Now I will simply maximize this, maximize window. And now I will simply pass the application URL, which is this. So driver dot get, and I will pass the URL. Now, as you discussed, we have a dedicated class called actions chains. So just type actions. Yes. So we are going to create object and now we need to pass this driver as well. The driver that we have created. Okay. So basically this will return me one object, which I will say ACT. Now, basically I need source and the target. So let me refresh so that we can see the same UI.
so as you can see now it has been loaded completely so what i will do i will try to do some drag and drop okay so now you can use any plugin if you're using okay i will be using this chrome dev tool and i will simply move uh, some element from the left hand side to the right hand side so let me first of all see this and i can see this is something occasional furniture i will quickly write that find a span tag you can see this is a span tag right and now i will look for a text okay this text is occasional for furniture as you can see it's showing one of one so let me store this as a src which is source and i will be using driver dot find element and i will be using by class okay because you can directly use find you can use one method called find element by xpath but we are using by class by dot xpath and this is my source in a similar way i will also find the destination where i have to drop so in our case let's drop here at kit storage this is also a span tag so we don't have to change much i will simply change this text to kit storage and as you can see one of one so i will go back and again driver dot find element by dot xpath and this is my destination now you just need to call act dot and you can see here we have one of the method called drag and drop and here it will ask you source and target so what is the source as for us it is src right this guy and the destination dest and finally you just call the perform method and it should do the drag and drop okay so let's run this and let's see the output so it says current google chrome version is this getting the latest driver is this it found in a cache and yes here it is going to start so it has maximized our window now it will simply do the drag and drop and you can see it did it did the drag and drop from left to right it took occasional furniture under kit storage right so very easy it is just you need to identify the source and the destination and you just need to call the method make sure you use this perform method this is very very important otherwise it will not allow you to perform any drag and drop operation so that's very straightforward so now i want you to try the same so first of all try with the same application so that you will be on the same page now i want you to give it a try now you explore from your end just try to drag and drop few files from left to right okay and let's see how it works once you're comfortable with this give a try with this and finally you can give a try with this again a small disclaimer whenever you work with drag and drop sometimes you might get iframes okay so first you identify do you have iframes or not if yes then first you have to switch to that iframe then only you can perform this so that's all for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed if yes then please subscribe this channel share with your friends and if you find any other issue let me know in the comment section have a nice day. Bye-bye.